welcome to my channel. This video is to help you diagnose what could be causing lag on your computer or slowness or just really anything that's bothering you. And I'm gonna go over it with you, kind of show you where you can look, how you can do this. And this is really something I think everyone who owns a Mac should know how to do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I don't have the whole screen showing as you can see, but I do have the middle of my screen showing. Now, what I want you to do is open up your activity monitor, okay? And how to do this is in the upper right hand corner of your screen, you should have your spotlight search logo, which is basically just a magnifying glass. When you click on that, you're gonna type the words activity monitor. This window should pop up, okay? So go ahead and do that now. All right. Now that activity monitor is open, I wanna go over what you're gonna do in it to basically try to figure out what's causing your problem. Now, there are a couple things that could cause your problem. Most of the time, it's gonna be a process or it's gonna be some sort of memory issue with your RAM, right? So I'm gonna basically break down what you're gonna be looking for, okay? So let's start with memory, because I think memory is gonna be something a lot of people don't realize that they're messing up in. <laughs> and that's what I kind of want to go over with you. So basically your memory is your RAM, right? Think of um, think of memory in the term of like your how you do things. So um, in this aspect, you know, your memory on your computer, like your hard drive memory, that's like your long term memory, right? Like that's what you remember. Those are things like your memories, right? Um, the RAM itself or this memory here is more for like uh, multitasking, right? It's like the like, oh, where did I leave this? Grab it. And then that thing's done. Like I don't need that memory anymore, right? That's what this is, right? And your computer basically utilizes the memory here to handle multiple things at one time. So if you run out of memory, you can't really do other things. You can't multitask anymore, okay? As you can see, I'm not really having any memory issues. I mean, mine's basically flatlined here. But when you come in here, it's gonna show you, you know, all the different things that you're using and then and what how much memory they're using at this time. So you have your physical memory. This is basically the RAM on your computer. This is how much has been used. This is how much has been cached. And if you get to the point where you're actually running out, uh, which does happen, you can swap memory uh, and utilize some hard drive space as well, but that's a little too advanced. I don't wanna get too much into that. I just wanna kinda show you the basics. So a good thing you can do is you can come in here. If you have a higher memory usage compared to physical memory, it may be time to restart the computer um, because that will help you get some of your system resources back. If your memory pressure is through the roof, like it's up here, okay? Um, you probably need to restart your computer. And if it remains through the roof, you're probably doing too much uh, than your computer can actually handle. Um, so, you know, these are things to consider. 32 gigs to me is pretty decent. A lot of people out there are gonna have 16 or eight. You know, eight's kind of low. It used to be kind of the standard. The standard's kind of moving to 16 now. Um, you know, the higher this is, the better, okay? So once again, come in here first, check your memory. You know, are you running out of physical memory or like resources that you can use for your computer? Um, if this looks great, you know, if you're like, oh, this is fantastic, everything looks good. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is come over to the CPU section. This is the process section, right? This is where your computer is gonna be running all the processes for every program on your computer and actually in the system as well. So the best way you can read this, especially if you're new, is you come down to this section here, okay? You're gonna have two sections and they add up. So think of uh, your CPU at 100%, right? Um, system, the system is the base system, right? It's what all your accounts run on and mine's currently using, you know, like 3.54%. My user account itself is using another 2%. And when you combine these together, my idle or whatever's left over of my CPU's capability is there. Now, a healthy idle for me is like 80 or above. When it starts to dip below that, you know, you may see spikes. Like I got these little baby spikes here, nothing too crazy. The lower the idle, the worse off you are, okay? So if your idle's like 50%, that means your computer's working pretty hard, it's working like half its processing power is being used at that point. So the lower you can keep this, the better. Um, I am running an M1 Max on this particular computer, uh, so I'm not really gonna see any problems. My Apple Silicon chip is gonna handle anything I'm doing, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, if you're seeing huge spikes here, huge spikes, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come on up here <laughs> and you're gonna wanna look at these processes, right? 
Um, so let's see what I have, right? So I have screen capture going, obviously, because I'm recording a video. Um, so that's there. And activity monitor is open as well. So you may see a, a CPU percentage based on what's being used here. If you have some high CPU percentage, you know, next to specific um, uh, processes or applications, uh, that you may want to shut those down. There may be some that you want to be careful with. So anything ending in a D, uh, those are those are daemons. So these are like system processes. You may want to be careful. Um, CF prefs is a big one, for example. Um, so you know, if you see a high percentage in your CPUs like having issues, right? First thing you're gonna do, restart your computer, right? If that doesn't help, could be a software issue. You may need to update. If updating doesn't help, reinstalling the actual operating system, the whole Mac OS, right? From recovery would be like the next thing. And you kind of just go down the rabbit hole. But ultimately, this is where you're gonna look. And this is pretty much what you're gonna look at to see what's causing your problem. I hope that helps. Um, you know, check out your activity monitor every once in a while. You may not even know you have a problem until you do. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons because that always helps me out. Hit that bell for notifications and uh, check out some of my other videos. I'm into stocks and, and uh, there's some other cool stuff here too. Um, but yeah, hope everybody's having a good day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.